Hey guys, it's Stacy from D14 Airsoft, and I just wanted to reach out to you guys today to cover a few things that we've been talking about um, that's gonna happen at the field. So first of all, I just wanted to say thank you for taking some time out of your busy day to watch my video. Um, every single one of you watching right now, it, you're supporting the sport, you're supporting our community, and you're supporting our field. Because of this support, D14 has grown into one of the greatest fields in the state, quite possibly even the country. So thank you guys so much for all of your support and keep supporting your local fields. So we all know that with great airsoft comes great responsibility. So every player that comes to D14 airsoft has a choice to make. We all come to D14 to have a great time, right? Right. So when you cross that safety fence, you can either have a good time or you can have a bad time. But what makes that difference between a good time and a bad time? It is 100% your attitude. So I'm gonna venture to say that pretty much everybody watching this video right now has probably already played at D14 Airsoft. There may be a few of you that perhaps are waiting for our SWAT meet to come out for the first time Saturday, December 30th, we'll throw that out there for you. But for the most part, Everybody here has probably already played at our field. I'm gonna take a second and talk to everyone, whether you've played here or not, and kind of fill you in on what we do here at D14. We play Airsoft, guys. Surprise! Seriously though, Airsoft is a fast-paced, adrenaline-inducing, real-life video game. It's challenging, it's rewarding, and it's quite possibly one of the best games you will ever play. However, this game will fail nearly 100% of the time if you're not playing by the rules. In fact, I'll go so far as to say that I'm gonna guarantee that you're gonna have a bad time if you're not playing honorably, which is a direct contradiction since everybody's here to have a good time, right? So what does it actually mean to play honorably? Well, for starters, it means calling your hits. It also means stay out of the other team's spawn so you're not spawn camping. It means respecting the field, respecting the props, respecting the buildings, respecting my, my admins and my other D14 staff members. It means respecting the other players on the field. It means educating yourself, knowing your MED for your rifle class, and then playing with those MEDs in mind. If there's ever anything that you're not comfortable with or you're not sure about the rule set, find me or find any of my other red shirts or D14 staff members. Find Jay or Steven or Greg and let us help you become a better airsofter. It's actually our job to make sure that you guys have an awesome time. But if for some reason you do encounter a troublesome player on the field, there are a few things that I would like for everybody to listen to and to understand. First and foremost, please, please, please do not confront that other player. Instead, memorize them. Find that one distinguishing characteristic about that player that sets them apart from everybody else whether it's a particular piece of their uniform, like a hat or a shirt, whether it's their gun, um, or maybe it's like the hair color, find that one thing that sets them apart and memorize it. I'll be the first to tell you that when you guys get on that field and we have 120 players playing at one time, you start to look the same as everybody else. So it's very difficult for us to address the issue if we can't track down the right person. Secondly, guys, if tempers do get elevated for some reason, just walk away. Nobody has anything to prove to anybody else on the field. So just disengage. And that can mean that you're leaving to go find an admin to notify of the situation, or it can mean that you're just gonna keep moving and finish out the game. If you finish out the game, which is obviously a lot more fun to do, then make sure that you find one of the admins or another D14 staff member afterwards and let us know about the situation. Um, we need to know if there's somebody who might be abusing the rules so we can address it and just make sure that everybody's having a great time. Also y'all, please understand that unless a D14 staff member 
actually witnesses the exchange in question, it's strictly your word versus someone else's. So please trust us and be patient and let us handle the situation in the matter in which we're trained. Trust me, I do not want anybody on my field who's not gonna play by the rules. And if there's any indication of a player who's not playing honorably, I have no problem reminding them why we're all here. And if it continues to be an issue, I have no problem asking them to leave. All right guys, so the last thing that I want everybody to keep in mind when you're on the field is that accidents happen. I will be the first to admit that I have made several mistakes while on that field. So let's just give everybody the benefit of the doubt. Let's choose to nurture our airsoft community by helping the players instead of ripping it apart with a hostile confrontation. Every player played their very first game as a noob. So let's remember where we came from. Remember how we started so we can enjoy where we're at now. So with that being said, who's ready to play some airsoft? The next time you're out at D14, remember to keep a good attitude and remember that we're all just here to have fun. Rally up, y'all.